What are your guys' take on secular Buddhism? It's a contradiction. <laughs> no, I, get it. what do you... I mean, okay, yeah. Are you talking? I'm going to assume you're talking about a Buddhism that like includes absolutely zero superstition, because even some of the non-theistic Buddhism I've seen still does contain a certain level of superstition sometimes. Um, okay. It's just not for me. I, I think mindfulness is good. It has well-documented benefits to your brain um, and various clinical disorders, some of which I have. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it'll, in a lot of ways, it's just not for me. Like, I think depending on the way that you practice it, you can really emphasize too much apathy or towards certain things. What does, it, what does, if you, if you say if secular Buddhism, Buddhism means Buddhism without religion, then that's a contradiction. Um, if you want to strip away the nonsensical superstitious part of Buddhism out of it, then it's not Buddhism anymore, right? Is it is it true that Buddhism, just like any religion, happened to have some ideas that are useful? Yes, by accident, not on purpose. <laughs> like obviously, any any set of ideas that have cover so many concepts, it's almost a miracle if they don't touch on anything that is useful at all. But the thing is that yeah. the way that we determine whether these ideas are useful or, or not is by analyzing them scientifically, which means that even without Buddhism, we would have come up to the conclusion about what's like the metric, like the methodology that we use to see what's good from Buddhism would have come, would have given us those results without Buddhism. So why do we even need Buddhism? Right? So the process that you're using to look at, oh, this in Buddhism is nonsense. This is superstitious. Oh, uh, reincarnation is nonsense. Karma is nonsense. Oh, yeah, mindfulness seems to be scientifically proven that if you reflect on your mind and blah, 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 maybe it has some good... Well, then you're not using Buddhism to get to that conclusion. You're using the scientific method. So you don't need Buddhism. In fact, not only you don't need Buddhism, if using the scientific method, you're deciding that these things are useful by adding the label Buddhism to those discoveries, you're now you are, Buddhism. you're validating and giving legitimacy and authority to all the nonsense that comes with Buddhism, right? Yeah. Maybe you decide that, oh, no, I'm not going to, I'm just going to call it Buddhism, but I'm not going to, I'm going to ignore all the nonsense and superstition, but you're using that branding. You're using the labeling and the branding that is associated with that nonsense. So even if you do, if you know that those are nonsense, you are promoting nonsense just by using that labeling. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Kali, you know, like me, then that means that you probably want more blasphemous art. Well, I have good news for you. If you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below, then you get a free booklet of some of the tastiest blasphemous art available today. So if you want some of this delicious blasphemy, and we're so generous that we update it for you guys weekly for free, all you have to do is sign up for our newsletter below. Uh, you can also go to blasphemousart.com slash ebook. That's blasphemousart.com slash ebook. Sign up with your email and you get free gifts of this tasty blasphemy. What could be better? So make sure you sign up. Link below. That's kind of like what um, Ambekar did with his version of Buddhism. Like he kind of tried to take it and combine it with like French and Enlightenment values. But the fact mm. that he still called it Buddhism when really so much of it is so far removed from actual yeah. Buddhism, like it gives a lot of legitimacy to Buddhism when he. It, as an outsider, it seems like he gave it that name as a marketing tool because that's what a Dalit or Hindu society would be more comfortable with, more familiar with, and so they'd be more attracted to it than just completely atheistic. Like he took it's, Buddhism it's like marketing to me, but it still yeah. gives that legitimacy. It's a big problem. He, exactly, he took Buddhism. He took everything out of Buddhism that makes it Buddhism. <laughs> yeah, 
And he put replace it with everything that made enlightenment, enlightenment values. values. <laughs> he put it there, and he still called. It, he basically took enlightenment values, removed the label, and wrote Buddhism on it. Well, that's such a disservice to the world. Even though yes, we agree the values that you're promoting are good values, but why are you branding it as Buddhism? People are not that smart to realize that this is not the same thing that people usually associate with Buddhism. And because people don't know that, you're promoting nonsense. You're promoting the, you know, the 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 superstition that comes as as a package with Buddhism, right? Just tell I people why things are useful. Tell people the values that are good and why their values why they are good give them the reason behind why they work instead of using the branding that they're familiar with well i i think the difference is for him you're saying oh he did such a disservice to the world by still calling it buddhism i think it was a very pragmatic and actually smart decision for the time like overall i wouldn't agree with it but i no, think it was very i think it was like pragmatic and marketing basically it's it's always it seems like a good idea for the short term to tell yeah to tell, that's exactly to, what i said yeah but it's bad it's overall it's a bad idea mm -hmm. it's better to equip people with the tools to recognize nonsense rather than trying to feed, sneak in the values that you were smart enough to realize you, you here's the thing there are, there are thinkers around the world that use the tools the, to process what values are good and what values are uh, beneficial to society. And they want to promote these values, but instead of giving the, sa the same tools that they use to realize these values are good, instead of giving the tools to the people, they want to give the values to the people. And they want to give the values to the people by any means necessary. And this is exactly what Ataturk, for example, did. Like, no, don't give the values to the people because, and then like, you could give these values to the people with marketing tactics, with rebranding things, by sugarcoating things. But if, but giving the tool, the reason why they want to give the values to the people instead of the tools is because it's harder. It's the harder thing to do. And the return on your investment is so much slower but the return on investment is going to be bigger. So if you give the tools to people to come up to these good values, you're not going to see immediate results and you're impatient. You want to get them to the, the, your desperation to get them to the conclusions that you came to is going to make you either force secularism like uh, on them, like Atatürk or do promote enlightenment values as Buddhism, right? But, None of this is good. Give them the tools. I know the returns on your investment is going to be slower, but it's going to be longer lasting and is lesser chance to to come by you know um, bite bite you back um, in ways that you didn't anticipate, right? Um, yeah, that's my one that's my final answer. thought. If you guys want to see some of the science based, evidence based parts, the best parts of Buddhism that have been taken out of all of the superstition and various philosophies that may or may not necessarily be good for you. If you want the good empirically, mm, that tasty stuff, go look up mindfulness-based stress reduction. Oh, okay. Originated cool. by uh, Dr. Kabat Zinn. And, Interesting. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Really good stuff. Hey guys, YouTube has fully demonetized our channel for supposedly hateful and harmful conduct. Um, without telling us what we did wrong. Um, if we get to 1,000 patrons, we will be able to keep paying all our team, our editors, our artists, without ever having to worry about monetization again, which would be amazing. Yay! So please support Atheist Republic on Patreon. Link in the description below.